Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Math word problems can be challenging. So how do we know what operations to use after we've read the word problem? Let's get into it right now. So as you can see, these are the word problem terminologies for adding or addition. The most common ones being total, sum, add. Uh, sometimes they ask how many all together or in all. So you get the gist of what this means when you're adding so that it will help you to know, oh, okay then, so if something is saying both or more than, you know that you're applying the um, addition method for um, solving. Now with the subtraction, you can see there's um, quite a few here. This is the one that throws many students off. How many more? Because it says more, they assume that you add and that is not the case. So how many more? All right. Um, difference is a, is a very common one as well. When you see difference in word problems, it means you are to subtract. Now, um, bear in mind that the context of the word problem is also important. So you also have to follow the word problem in um, you know, real life terms. So you will know what to actually do as well. But these um, terminology words or word problem keywords, they actually give you an idea as a guide as to what operation to use. So fewer than, um, you know, minus is a common one. So you can see there's quite a few here. If you're dealing with two people and so-and-so gave away, then you know that you're subtracting as well. Now here's the uh, multiplication um, words. Some of them might be familiar to you. Um, increased by, uh, multiply product is a very common one that's used in uh, multiplication word problems um, to differentiate from the word quotient, which means to divide. Area, so remember area is multiplying because it's length times width if you're doing uh, geometry. Each is a very common one that's used a lot. Um, it might be in something like um, a movie theater has 25 rows of seats with 20 seats in each row. Then you know you're multiplying 25 times 20. So um, yeah, there's that. A uh, cubed might not be too familiar. Cubed is the little exponent with the number three at the top. So six to the third power or six cubed, which would mean six times six times six or five squared which means you're multiplying five times five squared will be that little two at the top, little exponent of two at the top of the um, any number. Um, of, of um, some children may or may not know that one because if you're doing percentages, it's like 25% of a number. That means you are also multiplying. Um, and uh, times is a, a one that might be familiar to you also. Now division is um, the last one of the um, four operations. So you can see there's quite a few words here as well. Most common ones, um, share is a good one. How many out of, um, you know, so-and-so has um, a toy and they're, they're sharing it between them. So you know that you're uh, dividing. Um, quotient, that's one that they use pretty often in middle school to differentiate from multiplication, which is product. So they use quotient for division. So that's always a good one to know. Um, split, yeah, you know, you're sharing, you're dividing, you're breaking it down. Obviously divide is the, is the, um, the most common one. How many in each, depending upon the situation of the um, actual word problem. I'd like to add another thing to this. Knowing the math keywords is not the only thing you need to know to solve the word problem. You also have to get that word problem into context. Like, comment and subscribe with that notification bell so you know every time I upload, which is every Wednesday. And I will see you next time in another math video. Thank you for watching. Class dismissed. Mm -hmm.